This video gives you an idea how to use WSO2A connectors in Integration Studio. You can download the studio from the WSO2 website. First let's see how to create an integration project using Studio. Click on Create Integration Project. In the dialog box appears, type the project name. Make sure, you tick the checkbox, Create Connector Exporter Project. In the next page, enter Maven information of the project and click Finish. Now we have an integration project ready for our development. Now, let's see how we can import required connectors to the project. Right-click the integration project in Project Explorer, select Add Connector and search for the connector you need in the dialog that appears. WSO2 Integration Studio connects to the connector store and lets you download the latest version of the connector. For this demo, we will select Salesforce Connector. Click on the icon and download it to the workplace. As we now have the connector imported, let's see how to use it in the integration logic we develop. We will develop a REST API which will create an object at Salesforce. Extract the integration project, right-click API folder and click on REST API. Now, create a REST API with the name SFAPI and with the context Salesforce. Then click on the default resource of the API to get the property window. Add a URL template backslash create for the resource. Tick the checkbox to accept post requests. Now we will get into logic development for the API resource. You can drag and drop mediators from the palette to construct the integration logic. Here, we will log the incoming message first. Then we use the payload factory mediator to transform the message into the format we need. Now, we are ready to call Salesforce. Under SF Connector, first choose Init Operation and drag it to the palette. Using this operation we define connection properties required to connect to Salesforce. Then choose the Create operation. This operation is used to configure the record's name and the value that needs to be created. You can configure these using the property panel. After this we use the respond mediator to respond the response from Salesforce to the API invoker. Now we have the integration logic ready. In the next section, let's see how to export this logic so that we can run it. To get ready for this, first you need to add the connector to the connector exporter project as well. You can add the Salesforce connector from the workplace as we already downloaded it. Now let's export the integration logic as a carbon application, which we can run on WSO2 Enterprise Integrator Server. Right-click See App Project and select Export. Choose a destination you prefer to export See App. Select the Integration Project and Connector Exporter Project in the wizard to be exported and click on Finish. Your See App will be generated. You can copy this See App to a server instance and start the server to test. Now, with Integration Studio you can run all your integration logic inside the studio itself. You can right-click See App Project and select Export Artifacts and Run. It will start an integrator instance with your logic.
You can also test using HTTP client inbuilt. Now you know how to use WSO2 connectors within your integration logic when you develop with Integration Studio and how to export or run it. Thanks for watching.